Big game hunting season may be six months away, but if you want a chance at shooting a deer or an elk, now is the time to start purchasing your tags. Outdoor reporter Lindsay Amundsen has more on what this could mean for the upcoming hunting season in tonight's Idaho Backroads. Things look good. As of the end of February, 83% of fawns and 92% of calves with collar survived through winter so far. They were at a similar place as they were last year. And last year we had above average fawn and calf survival. But they're not in the clear yet. I saw this a couple years ago where we were at a similar point at or above average for that for February through through February and then we had a cool wet spring and fawn fawn survival especially started going down and we ended up below average by the time uh, we got to the end of the monitoring season. It will all depend on the weather. Our warmer trends lately are encouraging for these populations but a wet and cool spring could change it all. At the point now where they have pretty much depleted their fat reserves so those animals that came in in not as good a condition are more likely to uh, die within the next month or two than those that came in a better condition. For them to be in the clear, the fawns and calves will need to survive through May. Once we hit June 1st, then we, we, we stop monitoring fawns and those, we assume those become adults at that point because they've made it through the, the bottleneck of winter. Which will ultimately decide the outlook for this year's hunting season. In general hunts, general deer hunts, which is an over-the-counter buck tag, um, about 60% of the bucks harvested are yearling bucks, which are the previous winter's fawns. So the higher production, deer production you have the year before and then the higher overwinter fawn survival you have, the more bucks are available that fall for hunters. So if trends continue, get ready for a good hunting season. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6. Idaho fishing games sold out of non-resident deer tags in record time. There are still a couple of opportunities coming up to purchase one. However, resident general hunts for deer and elk are available to purchase right now. If you'd like more information on buying or applying for a tag, just head to this story at idahonews6.com.